Welcome to the Hand in Hand with God YouTube channel, where the sermons are filled with the Word of God, so you can apply God's truth to your life as you glean them from the teachings that are brought to you by myself, Pastor Daryl Clausen, but more importantly, they're brought to you by the Holy Spirit. Apply God's truth to your life so that He can mold you and shape you into who He wants you to be so that you can shine bright for Him through your words and actions. God bless you as you watch the video. The passage of Scripture I'd like to leave with you for the week is Malachi 4, verses 5 and 6, which says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Family relationships are vitally important to God. They are so important to God that if the human race doesn't have healthy relationships between children and their fathers, then God is going to put a curse on the earth. If anyone ever said that God is a vengeful, wrathful God, then they obviously didn't read this passage. Here we see God telling us that He is going to send a prophet before Judgment Day who is going to restore the relationship between fathers and their children. And if God didn't send this prophet to restore this relationship, then God was going to put a curse on the earth. If God is vengeful and wrathful, then He wouldn't have sent the prophet warning us to change our ways, warning us to repair broken relationships. But in God's grace and mercy, He gives us an opportunity to make sure that our relationships are healthy. It is God's desire for fathers to love their children and children to love their fathers. Therefore, if you have the urge to contact either your children or your dad to rebuild a damaged relationship, then do so because this urge is from God and He wants you to do what you can to rebuild the relationship. God is the God of love, and as His children, it is our responsibility to demonstrate love in every one of our relationships, even if we deem it a hard thing to do, or we don't think that our act of love will be well received. Here's a tidbit of advice. Obey God without being afraid of how people will respond or react to your obedience to God. God bless you. Go with God and no one else. Thanks for watching.